Hey guys, welcome to the construction site on Wednesday. It's uh, early morning, 7 a.m. I'm here to get an early start on the hydro isolation today. And it's pretty cold. I don't know how many degrees then check in the car, but let's take a look at what came out of the uh, white stuff we we're putting on yesterday. Looks like the stuff I've been putting on at the end, the layer is not that thick because maybe I've watered down the solution too much. But let's take a look in the front. It's something I think looks uh, much similar to the other one actually. Not much difference here. So probably second layer today. I'll put on a second layer today and that should be much better. All right, really cool. Let's have a look up here. You can see the guys finished up the brickwork yesterday. A lot of uh, rubble here because they've been cutting up the bricks to form up the wall. We got some bricks left over here. Basically one stack that's six, 12, 18 bricks plus some random bricks here and there, maybe around 30 bricks in total across the whole construction site. So that's pretty good. And you can see everything up here is a-okay. And up here for the tie beam on the workshop, the guy started drilling and putting up these vertical members uh, act as supports for the forms and these forms go quite up high about I think 80 centimeters it's going to be a big tie beam but yeah it's going to span all around you can see there's not much support for it down here basically open spaces big windows and stuff like that so yeah plenty of work here to be done we plan to pour the concrete on Friday we got the big I-beam to move into position on Thursday I think or Friday morning I need to order up a crane uh, to lift it it weighs about 500 kilos so that's quite a big weight and it's going to be set here across on these two uh, columns spanning the middle it's going to be a support for the roof structure so that should happen tomorrow so the guys have plenty of form work to do and still they have to tie up all of this rebar put it up into position for the forms the top proper height and everything so that's still a lot to do all right guys so today i started the day by by painting this i-beam a second layer of uh, primer because from the previous layer I could see some spots where the rust started coming out so definitely needs two layers so I'm painting over that and uh, yeah since uh, tomorrow probably or Friday morning we'll be hoisting this up with a crane I want to get this paint job done and once I'm done I'm starting on the house the white stuff on the house once I'm done with uh, one side of this I-beam then once I'm done with that I'll come back and roll this over and paint the other side you know it will probably be dry by then so uh, multitasking today all right so i'm doing the hydro on the bottom started on this side and went through the whole front of the house but the guys are up here building forms forms for uh, the tie beam and the ledge Let's take a look. So you can see the tie beam is going to be pretty tall in this uh, section of the building. So yeah, the forms need to be pretty strong. And I suggested that on the outside we put a board across to prevent any waves from uh, coming out like uh, it happened out here with the slab. So the form should be reinforced. Also, it's going to be held together with those uh, uh, clip systems uh, Mr. Pavel has 
but on the inside it's very important that it's uh, dead straight the only uh, like a thin finish layer is going on top of that concrete so it cannot have big waves because it's going to be exposed from the inside so it has to be spot on I've been working at the front of the house as you can see and I've, I've been applying this white stuff with a spatula now because I used around one and a half bags uh, yesterday around the house and the theory said I was supposed to use around six for the two layers so the first layer was definitely too thin you can even see some uh, brick marks from underneath this gray maybe I think it's too thin, so I'm applying very generously the second layer, uh, quite uh, quite thickly, <laughs> thickly, quite thick, so that yeah. But a lot of still left to do. Just did the front of the house. I need to go all the way around. But also I have another project uh, at the same time, so I just used up a bucket. So I'm taking a little break from this. I'm going to paint the I beam now with the final color because I used up two cans of primer. Not everything is primed twice, but uh, the top and the bottom are, and mostly the insides. So yeah, I'm going to go with the finished color now. So I'm painting the I-beam, a color that's called uh, gray half shine. So I'm trying to achieve an effect that is uh, similar to what the I-beam looked like when it came out of the foundry. And uh, yeah, I don't think this is exactly the same color, but we'll see when it dries out. It looks a little bit bluish now. That one is more like a gray bluish. I don't know. It is hard to judge. We'll see once the paint is dry. This is the first paint coat. We can always try to find a different color and apply it on top. I did a little spot on this rusting out a beam uh, cutoff that we have to compare once the paint dries to the color that it orig originally has you can see now it's more rusty than anything but yeah i'll continue on and we'll see later Alright guys, that's my perspective on this. I've painted the top part, now I'll paint the insides here. Then probably flip this around and paint the other side from underneath so it's easier. I need to paint the bottom, this bottom here too. So plenty of painting ahead of me. Alright guys, so once again nightfall approached us pretty suddenly it's dark really fast. We worked a bit uh, with the lamps and now it's time to go home. Uh, I got too dark to film but basically I, I, I'm maybe halfway done with the white stuff. I'm at the back of the house now. I'll finish up tomorrow. So the I-beam is painted with the final color on one side. It still needs to be rotated tomorrow and painted a second time. But the paint it dries out really slowly, the new paint. So not like the primer, so I'll probably do that the first thing in the morning because uh, afternoon the crane will come, hopefully, and we'll lift the I-beam onto the garage if the forms are ready. My lens is getting fogged up really badly. <laughs> it's maybe three degrees outside and like he just came inside. So thank you guys very much for watching this short episode. I haven't filmed much today, but 
hopefully this is some sort of update for you guys and I'll catch you next time. Bye.